I'm Christopher JMUA and welcome back to my channel. Unless you've never been here, of course, then welcome. I'm very glad you've stopped by. And welcome to today's video. Today's exciting for me because I haven't used probably about four out of eight of the palettes that I have sitting in front of me. So half of the palettes I have sitting in front of me I haven't used yet. And I'm really excited to be able to use them. As you saw from the title, today I'm using every Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette to create one single look. This was actually my boyfriend's idea. I had been trying to build up my collection of Jeffree Star Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes since I started getting into makeup. It was just really hard to order the palettes whenever they would go back in stock because so many people were trying to order at the same time usually but eventually I finally got them all and I actually got the last three of them with 30% off which I didn't think would ever happen but regardless here we are so if you want to see how I combine every single Jeffree Star Cosmetics eyeshadow palette into one look then stay exactly where you are keep doing exactly what you're doing and keep on watching I tried to put these in order. I think these are in order from the year or the time they came out. I wasn't really into the whole community whenever the first launches happened with Jeffree Star Cosmetics. So I've got number one, Beauty Killer. Number two, Androgyny. Number three, Thirsty. Number four, Blood Sugar. Number five, Alien. This is the one I started with. Number six, Blue Blood. And number seven, Jawbreaker slash Mini Breaker. Or like seven and eight, or seven, seven and a half. I feel like it's seven, seven and a half. Okay, I just got Beauty Killer, Androgyny, and Thirsty. I've had Blood Sugar for about four, four-ish months now, but I can't bring myself to break the logo in the pan yet. I'm gonna have to today, obviously, and I'm gonna ruin that, but better late than never, I guess. Now, I feel like the first thing I need to do is kind of just open everything up and look at them and figure out what shades are gonna work together, because this means I have to come up with an eyeshadow look that has eight shades in it. I don't normally even do that, like ever. Maybe I could use some shades for like bronzer and blush and highlighter. Haha, <laughs> that's kind of cheating, but that would give me five shades for the eye and three shades for the face. We'll see, we'll see. I might be able to pull it off. I don't know yet though. So I'm gonna open everything up and we're gonna look at them. Okay, now I have all of the palettes laid out in front of me. I've got to show you what this looks like because it's slightly overwhelming just a little bit because I don't know how I'm gonna use all of these. Okay, so we got Beauty Killer, Androgyny, Thirsty, Blood Sugar, Alien, Blue Blood, wait, yeah, uh, Jawbreaker, then Mini Jawbreaker, that's right. But there's just so many shades. Now that everything is laid out in front of me and I am truly overwhelmed, I'm gonna go ahead and do the one thing that I know for sure is gonna work, and I'm gonna prime my eyes with my P. Louise base. <laughs> You know, I don't know why, but I feel like if all of these shades were in one palette, it would be a lot easier to see, if that makes sense. <laughs> like, even though they're all laid out right in front of me, because they're not organized in any sort of way, it's hard for me to see different shades. I think I figured out blush. I think I'm gonna use the shade from the Thirsty palette as my blush shade. It's kind of like that pinky coral sort of color, and I really like that as blush. Then, I think I'm gonna use the shade Dominatrix tricks from the androgyny palette as my contour then my highlighter is going to be the shade crystal flesh from the blue blood palette so we have blush contour and highlighter now i need brows and eyeshadow for brows, I'm gonna use the shade Tasty from the Jawbreaker palette. Then for eyes, that leaves Beauty Killer, Blood Sugar, Alien, and Mini Breaker. That just made this a lot easier. <laughs> now with my Morphe R37 brush, I'm gonna go into the Beauty Killer palette into the shade Courtney. And I'm gonna use that to set my base essentially, but kind of build it up in the crease a little bit and see if I can get some color payoff out of it. I've never used the Beauty Killer formula, so I don't know what it's like yet. This is sort of gonna be a first impressions on that one and Thirsty and androgyny and blood sugar, but we'll kind of figure it out as we go.
Now using the Morphe R35 blending brush, I'm gonna go into the blood sugar palette and use the shade Sugar Cane to blend out the edges of Courtney. Wow, this is actually really, really cool. I never would have thought to use like a pinky brown to blend out an orangey brown, but I did and it's really, really pretty. I say I never would have thought to do it, but I did think to do it. So I don't know what that's about, but point is, if I wasn't doing this challenge, if Mark wasn't making me do this challenge, I probably wouldn't have done that. I had been trying to build up my Jeffree Star Cosmetics eyeshadow palette collection, mainly for the fact of being a collector and wanting to use all of the palettes and own all of the palettes and then once I got them all in Mark was like why don't you do like a challenge video and try to do one look with all the palettes and I was like oh that sounds like a good idea sounds like it's really hard and that you're trying to challenge me but that is the point of a challenge is to challenge me so here we are this is so cool I really really like that I know it's just a base and it's nothing special but I really like it okay so change of plans I'm actually not going to use the androgyny palette for my contour anymore because I really want to use the shade androgyny out of it to deepen up my crease. So I'll probably just end up using my own contour instead. The shade just looks really pretty and I really want to put it on my eye. Now that I have everything deepened up with androgyny, I'm really liking this a lot. I know it's still just like nudie shades, but everything's blending gorgeous and ugh, it just looks really good. <laughs> That's all. Anyway, time to move on. And I think I'm going to go into the mini breaker palette. This time I'm going to use the shade Slice and I'm going to put that all over my lid. This is where things are getting confusing for me because I don't know what lid color I want to go with. I don't know what inner corner highlight. I don't know what brow bone. So I'm just going to kind of go with it and see what happens. I'm just going to use my finger for this shade though. because I don't really need a brush for it. Wow. Do you see that? Ugh. I am shook. I am a gold statue starting at my eyelid. <laughs> wow. Oh, I really, really like that. Okay, done with that one. Now I'm gonna go back in with the M433 brush. I'm not gonna add any extra product on it. I'm just gonna go around the edges of the shade Slice just to get rid of any excess pigment that maybe got out of the lines, if you will. So pretty. It doesn't match. The crease but it's pretty now on this teeny tiny morphe m506 brush i'm gonna go into the alien palette into the shade space cowboy and i'm gonna put that right on my outer v weird it almost looks black up here but in the pan it's like a purple brown ish huh that shade is really not building up to what i want it to be well, it finally blended out with itself. It's not the greatest, it's not exactly what I wanted, but it works. Now that I've deepened up way more than I ever intended to, as you can probably tell, because now not only is my outer V, but also my crease are deepened up. Now it's time to lighten things again. I'm now gonna take the Morphe M326 brush. It's a mini something brush. Packing brush, I guess. And I'm gonna go into the shade Pluto in the Alien palette. And I'm gonna put that one right on my inner corner. That is a very beautiful shade. I wish I could get it to show up more richly. I can see it, but it's blending in with the shade Slice, so it's kind of turning into like a white yellow, and I don't want it to be a white yellow. I want it to be this, but in my inner corner. Maybe, let me try to wet my brush. That might work. I'm gonna use my Morphe X Jeffree Star Starberry setting spray. Okay, brush is wet and everything smells amazing. Oh, there she is. You just didn't want to come out to play, did you? She's there now, a little more prominent. She's still mixing with the shade slice just a little bit, but what are you gonna do at this point? You know, we are kind of left with whatever we got. This is so cool. This is really, really different for me. Normally I don't go in with this many types of colors, but I kind of needed to, and I'm really, really liking this. I like how I have the yellow in the middle, but I still like how I have the dimension on both sides. Now I am actually gonna take a brush and put the shade slice on it so that I can maybe blend this out a little bit because the finger works really well in that metallic shade to get it full 
oiled and really pigmented, but it isn't the greatest for a blending tool, so I need a blending tool. I think I'm gonna use this Morphe M209. It's a big fluffy brush, but I'm thinking that it's big enough to put pigment down with, but small enough to still blend it well. This is actually really cool. I like this. I like this a lot. Now I know I'm still gonna use this palette for my brows, but I'm also gonna use the Jawbreaker palette and the shade Jawbreaker as my brow bone highlight. Oh, that's sickening. And it has just enough of that like pinky hued undertone to work well with the shade Sugar Cane that I have down already. But it has that yellow reflect in it which works with the shade Slice. So it's like the perfect mix between them. All right, so the first part of my eyeshadow is done. I have all of the lid and the crease all applied and blended out the way that I think I like it. I really like the white to the yellow to the black. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a bumblebee, just a little bit. Anyway, for the rest of this application, I need to go ahead and get my complexion products applied so that we can come back to the brows, the blush, the highlighter, and then finishing off the eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do everything else off camera and I will come back and we will finish up the rest of this look so I'll see you guys in a second okay we are back ladies and gentle non-judgmentals we have a foundation concealer bronzer and contour applied so essentially our base products are done and now to blush I'm gonna use my Morphe M104 blush brush and go into the thirsty palette into the shade Box, and put that on my cheeks Ooh, that was a little too much, too fast, too soon. I definitely did not go overboard on that blush. That's not too much, that's not too crazy, that's not too insane, or whatever. Seriously though, that's kind of intense. And I really didn't mean to go that heavy handed into it, but I did, so it's there. It's still pretty, it's not changing the fact that it's pretty. It's just a lot of blush. I don't normally use that much blush, so it's a confusing time for me. I don't know who I am anymore, and I did it again! Ah! Why can't I control how much blush I'm using? Okay, you know what? We're just gonna really go there. We're gonna make it a lot, and then we're gonna rein it back in after that. That's what we're gonna do. Okay, so right now, that's a lot. I know, like a lot, a lot. But I'm gonna use the brush for foundation and just blot away that, and then use the sponge on the butt. <laughs> the sponge on the butt. And push that into the skin. Push, push, push. And on that side, okay, that's kind of pretty, actually. Huh, look at me go. Okay, Woo, I was scared. I'll admit, I was scared. We love a good blending the blush away moment. Okay, let's close that palette. We are done with her. Now, highlighter, my favorite. Now we're gonna use the Morphe M509 highlighter brush, and I'm gonna use the shade Crystal Flesh out of the Blue Blood palette. Oh, now things are happening. Oh, oh, wow. That is pretty. Woo. Oh my goodness. And it really matches my oversaturated blush. Okay, that does leave a tiny cast on my face. It leaves like a cool toned pinky purple cast. Bummer, but it's really pretty. Like really, really pretty. Dang it. Wish it didn't have that cast with it. I would use that as a highlighter all the time. That's okay though, we'll be fine. See, I don't think this highlighter would look very good without oversaturated blush on. <laughs> because the blush kind of makes that color look like it's normal. Man, that is pretty. Ugh, I like that a lot. I'm satisfied with Crystal Flesh as a highlighter. It almost makes me look like I have Crystal Flesh. Haha, <laughs> get it? Of course you do. I'm gonna use my Morphe S6 angled flat brush and go into the shade Tasty in the Jawbreaker palette and use that as a brow powder, essentially. All right, one brow done. And note to self and everyone else, the shade Tasty in the Jawbreaker palette is a warm brown. It almost looks like a cherry brown. 
It's like very, very warm. I've never seen my brows this warm before, and I never knew there was this much warmth in this shade. But good news, I know now. Okay, brows are done. Granted, they are much more warm tone than I would ever go, but you win some, you lose some. You know, this time, I lost some. These things happen. So this is gonna be like kind of a cheat, not really a cheat, but sort of a cheat. I said this was gonna be a full face of Jeffree Star Cosmetics. However, just to make things interesting, I wanted to go in on my lower lash line with the Morphe X Jeffree Star Collaboration Palette because technically it's got Jeffree's name on it. It's just Morphe's formula. So from that palette, I'm gonna take the shade Calabasas on my Morphe M456 brush and I'm just gonna smoke that out across my lower lash line. Then I'm just going back in with the Morphe M326 brush and into the Alien palette into the shade Pluto. It's what I used on the inner corner earlier and I'm just going to make sure that I tie in the inner corner to the lower lash line. Perfect. I love it. Okay, what's next? So for liner, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in the shade Honey Dude. And now the Better Than Sex Mascara from Too Faced. And this is the entire look using every Jeffree Star palette. This was so much fun. Mark, like, he definitely made a challenge, that's for sure. I would have probably never thought to do anything like this to myself <laughs> because I wouldn't want to torture myself. No, I'm just kidding. But really, this was actually kind of difficult at first. It seemed very, very daunting when I had all of the eyeshadow palettes laid out in front of me. It was just very overwhelming. But once I really like got into it and started picking shades practically and how to use them, then it became less difficult and I started reaching into more palettes. So I can definitely say that it was a lot of fun and it was a fun challenge. If any of you guys have all of the palettes from one brand that they've come out with so far, I challenge you to do the same thing as well and create one look with all of their palettes. I think it's a really neat idea and I think it would be really fun to see what other people come up with. Anyway guys, I thank you so much for watching. I thank you for hanging out with me and I hope you had a good time. If you did and you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It lets me know that you do like this video. If you didn't like this video, I would love it if you would leave me a comment letting me know why you didn't or what you didn't like, what I could do to improve. I always love constructive criticism. And if you want to see this look and more looks like them, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. My username is the same for everything. It's simply Christopher JMUA. And if you gain nothing from this video, if you gain nothing from any of my videos, please at least gain this, and that is to always remember and never forget that you are absolutely beautiful. Bye guys. Do you see that baby? <laughs> uh -huh. He says I'm beautiful already. Uh-huh, you're so cute. He's so cute. Are you a movie star? <laughs>